Today we're at the Bimpton Zoo at Ross Park with Melissa. Hello. Hi. What do you have here? So this right here is a southern three-banded armadillo. Does this um, armadillo have a name? Yeah, her name is Navy and she of course is a female. <laughs> what are those um, claws used for? So her claws are actually her own personal shovels. These guys are amazing diggers and um, they actually dig for their food. They can dig in you know, dirt, um, tree bark, and their favorite food are things like ants and termites. What do you feed them here? So here we actually feed them um, kind of like how at home, you know, your pets will get a kind of a fortified diet that looks kind of pebble-like. Um, because she's an insectivore, she gets kind of the same thing. So it's tiny little um, kind of crunchy pebbles that kind of feel like uh, she'd be crushing, you know, termites and ants and things like that. Um, but it's, it has all the nutrients that she would ever need. And she also does get bugs. We do give her bugs for a special treat. What kind of environment do these armadillos live in? So these guys actually generally live in more of a, kind of a grassland type environment. They are from South America, kind of central South America. Um, but they don't really live in the rainforest. It's more of kind of grassland and maybe um, riparian forests. How do these armadillo armadillos get the name Free Banded Armadillo? So they get their name from the number of bands that they have on their back. So if you see here, it's one, two, three. And these bands actually help them. Um, they're kind of, their function is similar to that of like a door hinge. So a door, you know, door hinges help the doors open and close. And these bands do the same thing. And this is actually the only species of armadillo that can curl up into a full, complete ball. Does the ball protect the armadillo or just because you want to? It does. The ball definitely protects them. So if you look at her head, her head is shaped kind of like a triangle. Her tail is also shaped like a triangle. So when she closes, her head and her tail fit together perfectly. So it's kind of a perfect sealed ball and it protects her from most predators in the wild. What is um scale-like um, structures on the outside used for? So these scale-like structures are very, very similar to like reptile scales. Um, they are made out of the same stuff and the same stuff that our fingernails are made out of. They're made out of keratin. So it's very, very, um, very, very hard, but also flexible. So she can still bend and stretch um, with those scales for protection. Well, thank you, Melissa, about telling us about these armadillos. Yeah, you're very welcome, Cole. <laughs> and if you guys are liking this series so far, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel.